hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so this week i wanted to share with you the unboxing and i guess haul of my eHearts meetup that i went to in march in manchester but it is a very long video um i've been really really struggling this past week to try and edit for you which i wanted to have out this weekend it is a huge video it's a behemoth i've been chopping it to little pieces for the last few days i wasn't really working much last week i had still visitors at home my niece and nephew who came to visit from another state were still here with us and they only left on thursday evening so i had very little time yesterday and today and i wasn't at home at all both days <laughs> so um i just didn't want you to be without a video this week so i have decided instead to share what would have been the end of my previous video so if you missed it i will link it up here for you but i shared my memories of the 80s paintings and um, all the images that make up the collection that i designed for august on patreon which will eventually end up in my shop but at the end of the video i'd mentioned that i had one other painting that i really wanted to do that i didn't have enough time to do for last week i am prioritizing posting weekly so if I'm not able to complete something I'm just gonna post whatever I have that way you have a video each week and then I can always continue the following week and hopefully nobody minds <laughs> so in this video it's a time-lapse of me painting that image so I'll just do a short voiceover to talk about my memories I remember very vividly and some of them are really funny ones that um, well I've been told later on and I think they were pretty funny so I'm gonna just talk through a couple of those little story times while I show you how I painted her and then if you stick around to the end of the video I'm gonna show you the fully completed collection which I have assembled and I've made into a print which is going out to my patrons next week so stick around if you want to see how that print turned out with every single painting that i showed you last week and the last painting that i made this week so stay tuned and i'll see you at the end of the video so i think what i had started to tell you at the end of my previous video was the story of how we used to watch the concert i think i mistakenly said barcelona concert in the previous one it's actually her ciao italia concert of 1987. um we had it on tape my mom had a recording of it i'm not sure if it aired on tv and she just recorded it on a vhs um, or we purchased it or we recorded it i'm honestly not really sure i would probably have to ask my siblings to get some confirmation on how I actually how we actually had that but I what I really remember the most is watching that video over and over and looking for outfits and bathing suits and flower dresses and skirts you know those skirts that used to have like layers I don't know what they're called in English but there was kind of like these roughly skirts or dresses and it usually was like two or three layers of like big wavy ruffle type skirts <laughs> i don't know in lingala in my native language in the congo we call them la bionda so i don't know if anybody <laughs> if anybody understands lingala you'll know what i'm talking about i would look for skirts like that and i would look for like my bathrobes and different pieces of shirts and jackets and from everyone from my siblings from myself um, I'd look for my winter tights, I'd look for boots and from watching that concert so many times I knew every single piece like I knew how she started it I even remember turning the lights on and off in our living room to kind of mimic how she'd have like some of the songs I think one of the songs I think was um, Open Your Heart To Me I think it's the name of the song I don't even remember the full titles but that one i think it's called open your heart <laughs> um how she started behind kind of like a sheer curtain i think that was the opener she was behind like this sheer screen thing and you could just see her shadow behind it putting on a you know getting ready and she had this cute little baby blue dress that looked almost like a bridesmaid's dress kind of and whenever she would go to the next song she would just add like a leather jacket on top of that so i have to find a jacket to add and i just followed every single song i knew the changes i knew everything she said in between even though i didn't understand anything i must have been probably eight or nine years old but um 
she was definitely a huge part of my childhood one of my older sisters even i think used to have a very similar hairstyle she would have like the short hair kind of like messy low to the side and then high on top she wore all the bracelets she had the really red lipstick at some point it was just the whole thing and some of my sisters and my sister's friends i remember it used to even add the mole like whenever they did their makeup they would add the mole above the lip it was <laughs> so I think I did mention in my previous one though, but when I was younger, there was a time when my dad had asked or someone had asked me, who do I want to be? What do I want to be when I grow up? And I was like, Madonna, <laughs> absolutely Madonna. I know all the dance steps. I could totally be her. She doesn't, she doesn't need to do this job anymore. I got it. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but it was really funny. And so some of the ones that I remember the most um, that were, I guess they were like my favorite ones of that whole concert so i definitely remember that whole switching of outfits and making one outfit do multiple things like she'd show up in this bathing suit looking thing and then she would have like a velcro piece that would go around the waist and it turns that into like a skirt so it would look like a dress then she'd throw on like a corset type thing and it was just little things little props that made the outfit look like a whole new outfit when it really was just one piece i think from the whole concert if i'm remembering correctly i think she only had really three outfit changes um but they were just like a combination of different types of pieces that just kept adding to what she was already wearing so she definitely had like a black bathing suit looking thing i don't know i keep calling it bathing suit it's not you know what i'm talking about but it's basically like a bathing suit but corsetti type thing <laughs> um she had a black one she had a white one and then she had a red one for the end of the show and the red was my favorite at the very end she had made it into a dress when she sang la isla bonita and then took the little dress piece off and had like pants that she just threw on to do holiday at the very end so that was the very last the last couple of songs so i remember those very very vividly because it was the end of the concert and it was a lot of fun that's kind of the piece that i talked about in the last video when she's just talking to the crowd and asking for a comb to the audience and like everyone is literally throwing combs at her in the audience and there's one of them is like enormous like the size of her face and she's just laughing out loud like passing them to the dancers and the backup singers um the musicians and everything and they're all just laughing combing their hair taking a breath drinking some water and then um she goes into the last i guess part of the song they finish the concert they say goodbye and i feel like every time i would watch the concert i would get towards the end of it and i i would get this sort of i didn't know what it was back then but i know now as an adult that feeling that i was feeling is almost like a nostalgia it's almost like a you already miss it like you don't want something to end because you know how much you're going to miss it and i would just literally rewind the tape and start over <laughs> Sadly, I had to wait to rewind the tape. I mean, it was the 80s. So I know it's not very, very long, but um, it was a really funny thing that just popped in my head when I thought I would do Memories of the 80s. My very first thought was me as a nine-year-old running between the half, but we had like a, a powder room behind the main, the kids' living room. Like it wasn't really a kids' living room. It was like a the regular living room, sitting room kind of place. Um, we had a little either closet or powder room or something back there and I just remember having all my outfits lined up and I would run back there so that was like my backstage my little sister who was probably between one and two years old maybe two and three years old would be like my little backup she would be bouncing and dancing around me and next to me um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used her as a prop too a few times like I would like grab her hand and dance with her because in in that concert at some point there was this little Italian boy I don't know if he's Italian I just calling him this little Italian boy because she only ever spoke to him in Italian in the show um but in the concert like I only ever noticed her speaking to him in Italian so I, I just assumed it's just like a local boy that she picked um to 
kind of be with her on stage and he was featured quite a bit on there and I was like wow this dude he's so lucky he gets to dance with Madonna like this for god knows how many hours that I actually took um but I just remember that there were a few songs that um he was featured like he would come and interact with her and stuff throughout the song so I'd make my little sister do that she had a, a hat that looked very very similar to the one that boy wore in the concert and I remember putting that on her and kind of holding her hands and she was tiny so obviously not super sturdy on her feet but I would dance around the living room with her and um, pretend she was like <laughs> my little assistant like this boy was to Madonna so anyway um, it was a ton of fun revisiting all those memories so I'm going to show you how the finished print turned out um, I hope you like it it is not too late to get it if you'd like to um, get it as part of my snail mail which is called the collectible keepsakes on patreon that is the snail mail tier sometimes I refer to it as Sandra mail sometimes I just call it snail mail but you know officially the name on patreon is collectible keepsakes that's the tier for anyone who likes to collect these pieces um, each collection that I make I turn into a print and some stickers and for this month I have turned and I feel like this is one of the prettiest one that I've made so far it looks like the 80s it transports you you feel like it probably should be faded like it feels like it should be old enough to be faded like the paper shouldn't be white you know um, and I've decided to turn the leather jacket into a sticker the guru like the workout guru Jennifer the workout guru into a sticker as well as the roller skates um, it was a tug of war between the roller skates and the cassette tape <laughs> so I'm sure I'll find a way to make the cassette tape into something and still bring it into my shop at some point so stay tuned yeah thank you for your support if you're someone who is on my patreon I really appreciate your support and keeping um, me going yeah I think that's pretty much the end of this illustration that was fun <laughs> Um, so thank you so much for watching before I go as promised I'm gonna show you how the finished print turned out for memories of the 80s I have two here I've got a few more but I'm getting ready to pack them and ship them to their owners um, they came out so 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 cute and I fought a little bit with Madonna because I painted her a little less vibrant than everybody else so I had to make like her lip really pop and I keep picking up because I'm trying to see it on the screen but basically I just tweaked some of the colors very slightly from the painting it's not too too different like if you look at them side by side it's not horribly different um, very close but I just made this a little deeper and I, um, I deepened the blue just a smidge and then I kind of made the lips a little more vibrant but basically this is the print and it'll go in my shop so if you miss it on patreon it's fine it'll just be a little more buying it on its own um, versus getting it on patreon you would get the whole set the print and the three stickers and every other piece of content on patreon so you're not just paying really for this you're paying for access to everything else and previous content as well but this is probably one of my favorites that i've ever made i'm super proud of this it literally took me back i just looking at this brings a huge smile to my face so i can't wait to see what other people think of this i can't wait to put it in the shop i can't wait to make more things like this um next month i'm not sure yet what i'm doing i'm debating between two things i'll have a poll going on instagram for people to help me decide but it's it's a tie currently in my mind between memories of the uk since i've been to the uk this year and memories of california because my son and my husband went to california on their first father-son trip i went on my first trip to california last year and i wanted to paint memories of california since then and i haven't so it's a toss-up between the two i may have picked already but we'll see <laughs> what people think so anyway if you love this and you'd like to see more please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you as part of my community um feel free to leave me a message i love hearing from you i love finding out what you thought of what i've made what you think of my videos my format um what you enjoy the most i know i've heard a lot about people loving story time so i'm trying to incorporate a little bit of that in my videos a little more so if you enjoy that please let me know because it will help encourage me to keep doing that 
to keep sharing them and obviously i don't really listen to madonna anymore i probably haven't since maybe the mid 90s but um it was just fun going back down memory lane and it's a little weird and creepy to me that i still remember a lot of these songs and i probably if i saw that concert today i could probably still tell you what's coming um i just watched it that much but anyway thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you for the haul video hopefully next week but until then thank you so much enjoy your week and i'll see you in my next video bye